That's right. The Ultimate Collection is now available on Steam and it's on sale. So let me just show you here in the Steam store. So if you go to the Steam store, uh, actually, I think it is on the front page. Yeah, it is on the front page. You'll see here that EA does have a classic games we can deal and one of them is inclusive one of them <laughs> included is the ultimate collection so you just go to the store here and search command and conquer you will find the ultimate collection right here i know it's kind of small but just bear with me i'm just gonna click in and you'll find the ultimate collection available on steam which includes a bunch of different command and conquer games i'm not gonna mention that last one but it still has a bunch of good games out there i'm mainly gonna focus on uh, re2 and use revenge and it is also on sale i believe it is currently on sale for a week yep from march 7th to march 21st you can enjoy up to 60 percent off and all of the classics including the ultimate collection so you better get it now before you have to pay the full price for it so you might be asking you know mj what's the difference between the old version and this steam version and the update is that i believe it has been patched for most modern systems nowadays so you don't need a third party patch or any other patch you know that you find on the internet that's supposed to you know help you run re2 use revenge but this one you don't need it it'll run straight out of the box for most players listen hear me out not all i did get some feedback that not uh that some players were having issues you know launching the campaign you know the skirmish didn't work and everything but i can safely say that most systems will run with uh will run re2 use revenge pretty smoothly uh, straight out of the box so let's give it a try here so I, I have re2 here let me just click play and oh look at that it gives you an option to play re2 user revenge or the final alert 2 editor which is pretty neat the final alert 2 is actually a map editor for re2 and user revenge you can, you can make a ton of custom made maps you know to your liking there is a tutorial out there you know snark has made one that will show up about now above my head here but let's give it a whirl here let's launch re2 and see what happens oh and there we go it launches me straight into re2 without any you know patches or any third party fixes let's see how it goes i believe it will launch into the cutscene and there you go yep it launches straight into the re2 cutscene and i'm just gonna let this play out so i'll meet you back after it's got to see. I'm, I'm just gonna let this part of the cutscene play out because it is still one of the sickest cutscenes I've ever seen in any video game. Sick. Hey, look at that! For a game like that's been released in like thousands in the in the like 20th century, it is still a really good for its time. After the cutscene plays out, it should bring me back to the main menu. Give it a wall here. And there you go, we're straight into the main menu. Uh, you might have some graphical glitch on the side, but don't worry, you still have that bar at the bottom that will show you. But, let's go into options here. Yep, there you go, you still have the full game ready for you. So you don't need any third party patches or any like fixes technically but the uh the base game on steam does actually has some sort of limitations to what you can or cannot do like the in-game resolution only goes up to 124 by 768 uh let me just reset here it should pop up on screen yep there you go so it only supports up to this smaller resolution which is pretty small by by today's standard so if i go to single player skirmish takes a while to load 
but there you go. Yeah, oh yes, I remember there's a uh, random map generator as well, alright? Yes, there you go. Uh, let's try to make something here. Island. Inland, sorry. Morning. Let's go snow. Let's go very large and all extreme with eight players. Generate the map. There you go, you have something like that. Let's go all easy. Start the game, see how it runs. There you go. Look at that. It runs straight out of the box without any third party fixes, which is pretty good. There has been a ton of complaints where players, you know, weren't able to play the base game because of certain limitations. But this version actually worked pretty goddamn well. Again, obviously there are some limitations like the um the resolution is pretty small the uh, cnc net player base that has been playing uh, has been playing with like a much bigger resolution than this so you see a lot more of the map the ui is a bit smaller but it is still pretty pretty good if you don't want to you know use any patches or any fixes which i don't know why you would do that but yeah man this looks good this looks good so again, even though the game is available on Steam, I did receive some feedback that players weren't able to get the game to work properly. You know? uh, like I said earlier, the game on Steam works with most modern systems, but some players still have some sort of difficulty trying to get a campaign to work. You know, the screen goes black. If you alt tab, <clears throat> you know, the game completely goes black and you can't even get back into the game, etc, etc. So I still encourage every single one of us uh, all of us Command & Conquer fans out there to still install and use CNCNet client the CNCNet client which uh, has a bunch of different features especially quality of life features like uh, quick match you know competitive play on a competitive ladder competitive ladder sorry English is hard uh, you'll be able to play up to you know the resolution of your screen uh, you, you saw the resolution earlier was about 1024 by 768 if my memory serves me correct. Since it allows you to go all the way up to 4K, even 2K. I play with a 2K screen, so playing on a uh, 1K resolution, it's really weird for me. But it allows you to uh, play a different bunch of community-made maps. It has a bunch of different game modes, you know, battle mode, unholy alliance, where you get all three factions, uh, co-op, and everything else. And CNCNet even now supports the campaign in the client itself so you don't really need to touch the base game at all everything is provided to you by the CNCNet client and everything else there's a tutorial out there which will show up above my right hand or my left hand about now so click that if you want to see an in-depth full tutorial on CNCNet the online player online online multiplayer sorry uh, skirmish and a bunch of other stuff out there but there has been an update to CNCNet itself. Uh, previously, in my in my other video, there was a tutorial on how to get a campaign working, but there were still some players who didn't manage to get the campaign working at all, and some players didn't have the option to control the game speed in the campaign itself. So let me just go through with you a brand new feature on CNCNet that allows you to one play the campaign straight out of CNCNet and two control the campaign game speed in the campaign so obviously the first thing you need to do is install cnc net there is a tutorial out there in the previous card but if let's say you did miss that video let me just do a quick tutorial here just search cnc net click ra2 and you'll be able to install the uh the launcher right here the installer i already got it installed actually i, I have like five versions of it but there you go Installer, I'll just double click this, click agree, and then it'll pop up this little page. You just click accept, and now this is the difference. You just need to select your RA2 game folder, which is usually in your Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then command and conquer Red Alert 2. So once you've installed this, it will launch the client itself, and then I'll be able to walk you through the uh, updated campaign that is available on TNCNet. So again, once you've uh, installed the campaign, it'll give you this initial installation. I'll just do it pretty quickly. Configure yes, in-game resolution, 2K, don't full screen my client. Borderless window, and I'm gonna turn off the main menu music. 
and yeah that should be it and restart and the client will update by itself so once you have installed Tiantina into the proper places uh, this is how you can play the campaign and control the game speed campaign from the new version of the client so what you need to do is go to options go to CN uh, updater sorry go to the update channel and then select beta so once you select the beta channel click save and the client will prompt you to restart and re-update the client to the beta version just click yes and let the process go by itself so once the client has been updated to the beta version you will see this long string of words under the client version that means that you are on the beta or the beta version english so you all you need to do is go to campaign and there you go you have the entire re2 and user range campaign to play with all the cutscenes and a difficulty level slider as well let's try and yeah let's go let's go let's go to a uh a mission here let's go to the re2 campaign allied mission for last chance on hard and let's see if it works look at that it requires 16 bit pixel depth that means i haven't uh, updated the uh, the renderer so if this happens to you the fix is pretty simple just go to your display pick whatever render works for you for me i know that tsd draw works so i'm just going to click save Go back to campaign, mission 4, last chance, and launch. And there you go. It launches with the cutscene. It, it's not full screen, uh, which is unfortunate. But uh, the gameplay of it is still available in the entirety of the full screen. Escape. There you go. And there you go. I am now in last chance, mission number 4. So if you if I go to escape here, I go to game controls, you can see that there is no option to control the game speed from here and you're stuck on the fast option I believe, which isn't the optimal speed. So if I move the units here you can see it's quite slow. If you're more used to the fast paced uh, you know campaign playstyle you might want to not campaign sorry multiplayer playstyle you might want to up the speed a little bit, right? So there's a simple fix for that if I go to a boat mission. From the main menu, just go to options and under game. And then here you can see control campaign speed. Just make sure this is checked. Click save, go back to, sorry, not skirmish. Go back to campaign and pick any, any mission. And you should be able to control the campaign game speed from there. All right, sorry, Carville. Launch a mission. Go to escape game controls and there you go you have the game speed option that you control if you want to go slower you can or for me personally i go faster which is the standard um game speed that we do play on multiplayer look at how quick the destroyers are moving this is the optimal to me is the optimal game speed but you might find it different uh to each their own if you prefer a, a, a slower gameplay then go ahead man it is all up to your entertainment and up to your enjoyability. So that's it. That's the entirety of the uh, of this video, I'd say. The Ultimate Collection now available on Steam. Go and grab it while it's on sale from 7th March to 21st of March. Uh, once you've downloaded it and installed it, I still recommend you to install and use the CNC Net client again for a bunch of different uh, quality of life features, quick match, comparative match. And recently, a campaign with full game speed control as well. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope this helps you. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new, uh, and follow us on Twitch. We actually stream quite a lot. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Renegade X lately. Uh, you can find my Twitch and Matt's Twitch down below. And I hope this video helps you as much as it helped me when I was starting out. Take care.